check out GameAnyone.com, the video walkthrough database. Hey guys, we're back with more Dra Skyrim Dragonborn DLC, and as you can see, on level 36, I did a little bit of grinding off screen, of course. Where is it? So I have my smithing at 81, and I can do ebony smithing. And what I'm going to do with that is, of course, head right up to the Skull Village. There's a few things you need. It's not just stall room to make the stall room armor. You need uh, some. You need iron, steel, leather, and sometimes quicksilver. So, as you can see, wow! Oh, wow! Okay. You know, there's the Nordic stuff I can make now. That actually looks like a really good bow. Chitin. I can now make. But what I'm here for is the star. That's a pretty BA bow. Let's see. I have Elven bow. Starts at 39, and Star Room bow starts at 50. That's the heavy armor. The star and light armor, and I need to get some leather before I can do so. Oh, leather strips. There we go, that should be enough. Yeah, get out of the way. Now, the thing that people make the mistake of was referring to star realm as metal. This all um, is very clearly not a metal. It is an ice. It's enchanted ice. And you can go back through the lore of, of the Marlin to see this. Sauron boots and Sauron light boots. The only difference is the color. <laughs> Sarum dagger doesn't start off very impressive. Let's see. Apparel. I need one more steel ingot so I can make. Ah, uh, that actually doesn't look too shabby. Steel ingots so I can make myself. Let's get indoors. Or in a cave. Uh, those. Anywhere. Just out of uh, this. Come on. Yes, yes, I can make it. Because I want to get those gone so I can have a full set of stall room. Bracers. Those aren't really bracers, those are gauntlets. Two star and daggers. Cause why not? Oh wow. That's a pretty cool looking mace. And that's a pretty BA looking shield, I guess. And let's upgrade. Ooh, 136. This is better than the stall room, or than the ancient farmer. Not by much. It sure is. And I'm only going to be able to upgrade one of my daggers to 32. So, Star Room is as good as Ebony, but this is a light version of it. So, what I'm going to do is. Weapons. So, I'll leave that one as favorited. And I'm going to favor that one. See, the Star Room Dagger does look a bit cleaner than the 
ebony daggers. I don't really like the ebony daggers. But let's go ahead and save. Heck yeah. Oh, I never put on my bracers. That looks pretty cool. Okay. Now where I need to go. Oh, right. Um, something I did off screen on accident was if you go join the Thieves Guild and then talk to Glover Mallory, who is actually Delvin Mallory's brother, uh, you question him about the shadow sign and he will say, you need to go here to recover his better world formula. Ah, that's nice. Star Realm Source. Anyways, but I'm, I want to go to Bodox too. Let's we'll start from Thirsk. These ash spawn. God, this ash spawn look freaky. Hmm. Anyways, now if you get into a fight out here, because I'm now the chieftain of Thirsk, I will have Reiklings come fight for me. It's really random. And not random as in random encounter, it's just random as in strange. Oh, that's what this is. I knew this was something. Remarkable, isn't it? Remarkable, isn't it? This tomb has been hidden for, well, who knows how long. Ain't... I've had a look around, and the only interesting thing I've found this is this gorgeous. Here. I'm glad you're here below. with me. Now I'm not... A sacrifice will bring you closer to that which you seek. I wonder what it means. Mind your step. There seem to be some corpses strewn about on the floor here. Hmm. Walking these chambers is like walking in the past. I wonder if this fire pit has anything to do with the riddle. I you go ahead so. and see what you can figure out. I'll look around and see if I can find anything of use. dump you in there, old man, but I have a feeling that I need you. Well done. Looks like we can head in either direction. Since you seem to know what you're doing, why don't you lead the way? Uh, let's always go left. That's my reason. When in doubt, go left. Unless there is no left. Then I guess you have to go right. And if that ain't right, then I don't want to be wrong. Wait. That didn't make any sense. Last. Yeah, I know. It wasn't supposed to make any sense, okay?
This claw I love to have. Hey, I'll take it. The ebony bow. Let's have a closer look. These wounds were fake a bit, but I believe I can translate the battle fury. Wait, what kind of is that? Battle fury. Chance of oh, okay. That works for me. The writing describes a guardian who defeated someone named Mir. In fact, if I'm reading this correctly, it mm. says that Mirak was a traitor. Most interesting. Oh, yeah. There's probably an exit through one of these guy. Let's get moving. Ooh, look how nice those look. I spent a ton of money getting my smithing up, so this is where it starts to pay off. Battle Fury. 
the first time I've ever had two shouts in one place. This writing refers to a guardian who inspired both men and dragons. I wonder if the guardian was himself a man or a dragon. It looks like a secret entrance opened up along the wall. You lead the way. Yeah, I will gladly lead the way. the boulevard here's another riddle stay your course to idle is to die well at least it's straightforward by the time I've never seen anything Java runtime, I see you press rapidly to work. Ah, I gotta redo that entire thing now. Okay, guys, we're back again to try this puzzle, and hopefully, my Microsoft won't crash. The heck? Corrupted shades. Awesome. Anyways, I'm gonna save one more time. Then we're gonna do this. Oh, Sarah, you almost pushed me off. Is there something? There we go, and no, it didn't crash this time, finally. Ah, oh, that's been giving me issues. Art from the other side. I'm glad these buttons are here once again. You'll want to find out what's down in that water. Mm -hmm. Almost got me there. Save again, because I don't want to do that again. Right from the other side? Of course. That's probably coming up from the water. I'm guessing this one will be even faster. Just remember to stay close. Nice. 
screws. This one is larger than it is. Wonder if this one needs the end of this one. because I don't know if this thing's gonna crash on me again. Hmm. Oh, something tells me this is a dragon priest. How did I know? Damn time I'm about to get in this fucking sneak attack. They all just take one step away and I can't hit them. God, that pisses me off to no end. If I hit him before he got that, what, it's probably ebony skin or one. That would have been fine. Drop his mask? Wait, you didn't even have one, did he? Wow. I'm taking that. Uh -huh. It's probably the last one. one Just let me study these rooms for a moment. Hmm. Here's another mention of the body. Only assume that this is the guardian's tomb we're standing in now. It says that he was loyal, and his reward was an honorable death. Quite fascinating. How amazing! A real dragon priest! In all my years as a historian, I never thought I'd see anything like that. 
I suppose that was Valak. He must have had this entire place built for him so that he could maintain his vigil, even beyond death. Yeah, I guess so. Indeed. I knew that the dragon priests were thought to have been powerful men of great will, but I had no idea. Well, I suppose I've seen everything I came for. Now I think I'll spend some more time studying this word war. What a book this will make! Well, you did give me a thousand. And I do get to take all the loot that I can carry with me. Okay, Saron, seriously. Okay, let's just walk through them. Really? Stairs are all over me. Why does this guy's. all of this shit have to be trapped? I mean, I don't care, but I don't want Serana to just die. You know what? I'm not even gonna bother trying to this thing. make it all the way out. Hmm. Serana should be shortly behind me. Okay, and this completes Valak's tomb. Which I think that'll make for a pretty good episode. So, okay. Alright, so I will see you guys next time.